Members from the Civil Society Corporation on Oil and Gas, Cisco, have conducted a joint monitoring of the Tilenga project in Valisa district, which is being managed by Total Energies. And what we do is third party contracts monitoring. Kebaze adds that the monitoring is an annual event which aims at keeping key players in Uganda's oil and gas sector in check so that they stick to the set standards and fulfill their mandate. They are, they are organizing our contribution. So I believe that going forward we continue to share information as much as possible and we continue to open windows for collaboration. This year, the coalition's focus was on monitoring total energy's compliance in the field of socio-economic and cultural aspects, waste management and biodiversity. Hey, my, our experience has been great. Uh, for now, we will sit as a team and do an evaluation of this exercise. And as a team of Cisco, we will be able to communicate our level of expectation. Uh, but of course, we were grateful to visit the, the CPF and to move through, have a guided movement uh, through uh, the facility, not in all aspects. Led by Lamon Patronilla, the NGO and human rights officer at Total Energies, the team first visited some of the project affected persons who were resettled elsewhere to give space for oil and gas activities. Uh, we've had a number of engagements with uh, NGOs uh, uh, through you know, sharing information through our bulletins, through having uh, bilateral engagements. But today, as one of our activities, we uh, committed to transparency, and part of transparency was to bring them down to the... According to the members, in their last visit, of October 2022, Total Energies was supposed to make some adjustments as per the recommendations of the coalition on the resettlement and livelihood restoration of the project affected persons. We have had great success in as far as compensating uh, the uh, persons that were affected by the project to a magnanimous great extent. And uh, these persons that were affected were asked um, uh, were asked to identify places of their convenience where they can be relocated, government, and through the Total Energies uh, 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 Tilenga project, uh, made sure that they're fully compensated before they could leave. Inside Markshan Falls National Park is the Jubilee 5 well pad, where a rig has been constructed and is currently drilling 12 wells. So just now we're on the first well, so we completed drilling to the final depth, 746 meters, and currently, so reference well, we are doing some... Uh... In order to meet the 2025 target set by government to have its first oil out, Total is currently constructing the central processing facility, which will separate the crude oil from a mixture of water, mud, and gases and transfer the crude oil through the four lines storage facility in Hoima. Once oil is extracted in its crude form from the different well parts, it comes to the central processing facility. It comes in its gaseous nature, in its liquid nature, in its liquid nature. And so it is the first place, the first point of processing it into its, uh, processing into its various uh, forms, such that it is user friendly. So that, um, so that first process of purifying this oil happens at the central processing facility. What has been happening has been uh, the first phase. It is in two phases. The first phase has been creating an enabling infrastructure, you know? And therefore, we are saying creating an enabling infrastructure is as good as done. We are trying to roll down. And now we're beginning the second phase where we begin the process of drilling and, uh, you know, purchases of equipment, the ECPC. However, the coalition is set to write a report indicating their findings during the visit to the Tilenga oil fields in Wulisa and Moya districts.